If you don't like government regulations but still love a good legal story, then this one's for you. Meet Roscoe Filburn, the farmer who went head to head with Uncle Sam. All right, picture this, it's 1942, Ohio. Roscoe Filburn's just a humble farmer growing wheat to feed his critters. But Uncle Sam says, hold up there, Roscoe. We got limits on wheat to keep prices steady. Roscoe's got more wheat than allowed, so the government slaps him with a penalty. But Roscoe ain't having it. He argues his wheat ain't for selling. It's for his own farm. So how can it be interstate commerce? Well, the Supreme Court steps in and says, even local activities can be regulated if they affect the national market. They pull out the Commerce Clause and declare that Roscoe's wheat impacts the whole wheat market, because he ain't buying feed from others. And just like that, Wickard v. Filburn sets a huge precedent for the federal government's power. So next time you hear about the Commerce Clause, remember old Roscoe and his wheat. If you want the full scoop, check out the link below. Thanks for watching, y'all.